hopefully that worked out for you guys. Got a chance to get to know a lot of our assistant coaches, a uh, group that we're really excited about. I think you can feel their energy, their enthusiasm, a lot of the same things that we're looking for and kind of environment and atmosphere that we want to be able to create and kind of set that culture. And it's going to start with us and that coaching staff. So looking forward to that. Coach, why do you think this staff has come together so fast? And it seemed like at every coach that, that I talked to, there were two words that came up with each of them, and that is fundamentals and teaching. Yeah, and that's exactly what we were looking for there, Jim. And, and I think it came together so quickly because very fortunate to have a lot of the right people in place. You know, one of the things that's tricky about the NFL is our guys going to be available with their contract situations and things like that. You look at a coach – Phillips to get a guy of his caliber where his contract was running up. We feel very fortunate about that, but kind of worked out where timing ended up being really, you know, in our favor and, and we were able to put together a great group of guys on offense and defense and then being able to come here and keep the continuity with Coach Fossil and he actually just hired an assistant today that uh, will release. We're very excited about him and, and that really represents the, the final product of our coaching staff. So it's exactly what we're looking for, those teachers like you mentioned, Jim. Hey, Sean, I... Wait, wait. You know, we have an you want me to lean down a little bit? That was one of our coaching points from the first time. Hey, put leaning over the mic. Don't give all our secrets away. Can I go? Uh, I, th I think, Sean, you said a couple of days ago about how um, he spoke to Todd Gurley and he talked to you about how he wanted another chance with Skip Pete as his running backs coach. Can you just recall that conversation and how much that played into um, your decision on your staff? Yeah, no, it was, uh, you know, it was one of those situations when you go into these interviews where you've got your projected staff in place. Skip was a guy that I had heard a lot of really good things about. I had never had the chance to work with him before, but he had worked with a couple people that I've worked with where I hold their opinion in high regard. So he was a guy I was interested to sit down with and wanted to really get a chance to talk some football, learn what he's about. And that morning before I was getting ready to go sit down with him, I got a call from a North Carolina area code, didn't know what it was, and I got a text say, this is, this is uh, Todd, which I had spoken to him after I got hired. Then in the meantime, Les is beeping in. I'm thinking, oh, no, I hope this isn't the first bad call I'm getting as a head coach. But it was one of those deals where I got a chance to talk to Todd, and he kind of explained some of the reasons why he felt so strongly about Coach Pete. And, you know, when you've got a key player like that, uh, I think you want to be able to try to demonstrate that you're going to listen to your players, their opinion matters, and somebody of his caliber and the type of guy that he is very important to us, and, and that was, you know, a definitely a played a factor in why we were able to retain Coach Pete, but he also earned the opportunity because of what he's done as a great coach as well.